I wish there was something I could have done. Something, anything. What do I have to do? What do I have to do to make time relapse a year and six months back? Welcome to the perception of a depressed, schizophrenic, panic attack, insomniac. In a constant state of reflection, I run myself ragged, only finding the repetitive, agonizing projection. Valentine's Day. An evening at your favorite restaurant in the world. But where's the laughs? Where's the lust? You know those couples that you see that look bored of each other? Yeah, that was us. The tension at that table can make hell freeze over. Consequently forcing me to move a mountain. Jane, what's the problem? You haven't even looked at your food. Can you at least breathe on it to make me feel good and not waste the damn thing? I don't think I have to mention how much this is gonna cost. Okay, you know what? Get the check, because if I stay, I'm gonna blow my head off. And you don't need to remind me about the price. We come here practically every day. We don't even need a menu. I'm pretty sure you've memorized the daily specials in the entrees, right? <laughs> This is stupid, I want to leave, and I will not sit here and let you bore me to death. We argued all the way to the car, and so All it did was escalate, bickering and bickering, tearing each other apart. Then, you hit a blow way too low below the belt. And any remaining control I had was cast away with your humanity. I floored the gas pedal. The acceleration buckled my stomach. Is this what you want, Jane? Huh? You want me to be more exciting, right? 80 miles an hour. How's this for exciting? 80, 90, 100, 120. The roads were skeletal. Having no room for error, leaving me is no exception. <laughs> An abrupt shift, and that was all it took. Boom! Smashing through the steel frame guardings, violently tumbling and tumbling and plummeting. Three stories later, my flimsy, disfigured body was extended on the dirt, 40 yards from the crash site. A sharp pain in my back, pulling out the leavings of a headlight. I rolled over and saw a chain pinned under 4,000 pounds of twisted steel, inching like a snail to rescue her from her faded expiration. The car detonated into a savage inferno. I didn't even get to say goodbye. Every morning I wake up and prepare to fight the stresses of the day ahead and the tranquil, inspirational portrait of watching you sleep isn't the first thing I see anymore. You're not there anymore, Jane. I don't know where you are. The bathroom, the bathroom still smells like that alluring scent that I loved oh so much, imprinted into your golden olive skin. It's the closest thing I have to being with you. My life is broken. There's no way to make it right. The future is a nightmare. And the past? <sighs> the past was nice. I will see you, Jane. I will see you tonight by following my heart and defying the mechanics of life. Thank you.